so look we back it again with another crazy crazy video now in this video today okay it's the fourth day of january i think it's the fourth day i done lost track i yeah it's the fourth day of january 2023 and we are already with some drama baby we already with some drama now if you have been if you have been sleeping under a rock okay which i'm pretty sure you guys heard about the news already but the man dana white basically hit his wife he's been called a woman abuser all these crazy different names that's been thrown at dana white but we're gonna hear his explanation on what really happened why did he do what he did you know what led to the cause of of him hitting his wife you feel me y'all seen the clip in the beginning but without further ado man let's jump right into this video oh and apparently we're just going to hear the audio okay we're just going to listen to the audio so y'all can look at my beautiful face while we listen to the audio guys you know you've heard me say for years there's never ever an excuse for a guy to put his hands on a woman and now here i am on, on tmz talking about it but my wife and i have been married for almost 30 years We've known each other since we were 12 years old. We've obviously been through some shit together and uh, we've got three kids. And, you know, this is one of those situations that's, you know, horrible. I I'm embarrassed, but it's also one of those situations that is, uh, you know, right now we're more concerned about our kids. You know, we, we have three kids and, uh, you know, obviously <clears throat> since the video popped up, we've shown the kids the video and, you know, we're more focused on our family right now. People are going to have opinions on this, and 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 most of the people's opinions would be right. And especially in in my case, uh, you, you don't you don't put your hands on a woman ever. Um, my wife and I obviously love each other. We've been together for a very long time. We've known each other since we were very little, and this is just one of those unfortunate situations. You were at a place in Cabo that. Um where alcohol flows. Yeah, I mean, Dana, what we were told by people who were in the club that it, at least to them, seemed that there was a lot of alcohol uh, in, involved in this situation. There, there was definitely a lot of alcohol involved, but that's that's no excuse. I literally am making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time that it's ever happened. And people are going to say what they're going to say. It's, it's, it just is what it is. And, and, and whatever people do say, uh, it's deserved. I deserve it. It, it, it happened. I, I don't know why it happened. And, uh, you know, my wife and I have apologized to each other. We've apologized to our kids. And, you know, this is one of those things that everybody's going to chime in. I could care less what anybody else thinks about this. Right now, what we're more concerned about are our kids and, and taking care of our family. In All right. So, <laughs> well... Dana White explained, okay, he basically explained, but you know what's crazy to me, that society now, they, don't they want equal rights with women and men, don't they feel like women should have the same equal rights as a man, so that goes down to, if a man, if a woman hits a man, a man should hit him back, right? But I'm going to be honest, I don't agree with the whole, like, I don't agree with that stance that society has. You know, me personally, I was raised to never put my hands on a woman, okay? No matter if that woman, because the women, they normally act out of emotions. You know, they, they act so emotionally. So I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, by me being a man, I don't act, like, my reaction is not strictly off emotions, you feel me? So I would never hit, my, uh, hit a woman, hit my wife, whatever. I would never do that. But... Uh, and then a white case, me personally, I don't think the man, I don't think the man was an abuser. Okay. His, his woman hit, his woman hit him first. His wife hit him first. He reacted in a way that he should never react and he hit her back. But that's the way that society wants it to happen. You feel me? Society wants it to happen like that. If you look up, if you like go around the whole and YouTube, whatever, start looking up all these women that talk about how men and women is equal and they're the same and they're this and they're that. So you telling me if a woman hit me, I can hit them back. You feel me? So that's just how I look at it. But again, like I said, me personally, I don't agree with what the, the way society thinks. I believe that a man should never put their hands on a woman unless... You feel me? Unless that woman's come charging at you with a gun. She, you know what I'm saying? Like some crazy stuff. But I also feel like when a woman gets too aggressive, I feel like as men, we can detain, like we can tame them, like detain them. Like basically like, you know what I'm saying? Like grab them by their arms and like hold them tight, not hold them to where they can't breathe. But you know, just like restrain them a little bit to say like, Hey, don't hit me. Don't put your hands on me. Now I've never been in a case where a woman ever hit me. You feel me? And I don't, I, the reason I would never hit a woman is because I know that if I hit a woman, Lord have mercy. I probably, I, I probably would hurt that woman. Okay, because I know that men are physically, you feel me? We're physically stronger than a woman. You know what I'm saying? We, if we ever put our hand, no matter if you, 
no matter if you a beast man or whatever, but if you ever put your hands on a woman, it's going to hurt harder than if a woman put their hands on us. You feel me? That jump don't really hurt. It feel like a little poodle. You know what I'm saying? So, but for Dana White to hit his wife, um, and man, I, the way he, the, the way the look, the look of the slap, like it's it like that man slapped her into next week. Like it, like she just went dazed. Like you feel me? Like I, he, wow, it was crazy. But again, I don't condone the violence. I don't condone of man putting their hands on a woman. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about the situation. Do y'all feel like Dana White was in the right? Was he in the wrong? I feel like people need to stay out their business because it's their business. But I like how he said that's no excuse. You feel me? Getting drunk and all that. That's no excuse to ever, you know, fight in public. You feel me? I feel like you handle your situations at home and uh, where it's private. You know, because especially when you're a public fi figure like Dana White, like when you're a public fi figure like that, obviously people want to look at you in the in the stance of, oh, you're wrong. You're this, you're that because you're a public figure. But if you were just a random person like me, I ain't, I'm a public figure, but I'm like, if I go outside right now, ain't nobody gonna really recognize me. So if they see me put my hands on my woman, it ain't gonna be all on the internet. Like, oh my God, the pants TV, but it ain't gonna be like that. But Dana White, you're a public figure. So sometimes you have to think before you react. That's where it all comes down to. Always think before you react. Because when you react before you even think about the uh, situation, now you're on, you know, now you're on TMZ. Now you're on all these different sources because now people are trying to get your explanation on the thing and think that you're in the wrong. When in reality, you was doing it out of self-defense. That's what it was. You was doing it out of self-defense. She hit you first, my brother, and you just did it out of self-defense. But again, people need to mind their own business. And they, uh, they, yeah, they just need to mind their own business, stay in their own place. You feel me? <laughs> and that's how it should go. That's how it should go. But obviously, when you're a public figure and your relationship is public too, people see you in public, they're going to record the whole entire night. They, they don't care. They don't care that you with your family. They're going to record you for the whole entire night and something pop off. Now you're on the internet. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Do y'all think this was necessary or Dana White to put his hands on his wife? Do y'all think it was reasonable, a reasonable reason? Or what? how do y'all feel about it? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below. What I feel to do, man, is being your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all. Hey, man, let's not put our hands on our woman, okay? No matter what, just let's not do it. Because we will, because our strength and their strength, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't going in well. You feel me? Unless that woman charging at you with some crazy weapons, that's the only time I say, hey, hey, get back. You know what I'm saying? But if she's just trying to hit you, bro, just restrain her a little bit. Just restrain her, hold her tight. That's that's how I would handle the situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I love you guys in the name. I was saying in the name of Jesus. Oh, man, I've been... <laughs> I've been praying too much, y'all. <laughs> I've been praying too much. Anyways, I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Stay blessed.